Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on humeral shaft fracture. Humeral shaft fractures are common injuries. Like many orthopedic injuries, they have a bimodal distribution, occurring in both younger patients due to high energy trauma, and in elderly patients following low impact injuries. Due to the location of the radial nerve within the spiral groove, there is a reasonably high risk of injury. The risk factors for humeral shaft fractures include osteoporosis, increasing age, or previous fractures. Humeral shaft fractures can also occur as pathological fractures. Pain and deformity are the predominant features of this injury. These fractures may occur from a fall directly onto the outstretched limb, or falling laterally onto an adducted limb. If the radial nerve is involved, the patient may also complain of reduced sensation over the dorsal first web space and weakness in wrist extension. The Holstein-Lewis fracture is a fracture of the distal third of the humerus, resulting in the entrapment of the radial nerve. The resultant neuropraxia to the radial nerve will result in loss of sensation in the radial distribution and a wrist drop deformity. Urgent surgical management is indicated. Investigations done are anteroposterior and lateral x-rays of the humerus. In severely comminuted cases, CT imaging may be requested for preoperatively planning. Although this is not routinely done, here are some x-rays. Picture A shows proximal humeral shaft fracture, B shows fracture at mid-shaft, and C shows distal humeral shaft spiral fracture, also called Holstein-Lewis fracture. The mainstay of management is the realignment of the limb, and the majority of humeral shaft fractures can be treated conservatively in a functional humeral brace. Specifically, fractures that are less than 20 degrees anterior angulation, less than 30 degrees varus or vulgus angulation, and with less than 3 centimeters of shortening are typically deemed suitable for conservative management. These patients need regular follow-up with repeated plain film imaging, and around 90% of patients will go on to full union within 8 to 12 weeks. Surgical fixation is needed in a minority of patients, and will typically involve open reduction and internal fixation. With a plate, intramedullary nailing may be indicated. In the presence of pathological fractures, polytrauma, or severely osteoporotic bones, in most cases, Prognosis is good, with minimal impact on function once the fracture has healed. Non-union and malunion are important complications to consider. In humeral shaft fractures, varus angulation is slightly more common with transverse fractures. However, rarely causes functional limitations. Around 90% of radial nerve injuries will improve within 3 months without any intervention. That's all for this video. Thank you.